you when know, you were introducing uh, the e course when you were bringing in uh, the live telecast and then bar and bench and live law yes. you know the the reporting all that that's yeah. happening uh, was there resistance from your own uh, community at that stage mat karo ye sab why are you opening it all up uh, well yes and no <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, in the sense that but i think overall uh, of course there was first the judgment of the mm. supreme court in swapnil tripathi mm. which was a judgment on the judicial side which mm. said and spoke of the importance of live streaming mm. now uh, so that gave us and i was a party to that judgment it was just the deepak mm. mishra justice khanvilkar and me so that gave a, a sort of a judicial way forward mm. the path forward but obviously there are you know and that's the beauty of the indian judiciary that you have people with different perspectives hmm. not everybody is as involved in a technology as say i was or some of the younger judges in the high courts are but overall now there's a realization that technology has a great deal to play a great role to play in terms of the efficiency of our system hmm. of uh, the outreach of the indian judiciary to towards our people uh, there are 37000 judgments of the supreme court since independence all the 37000 judgments have been translated into hindi using machine assisted uh, ai assisted learning mm. and uh, all these judgments are tra- being translated into every language which is recognized okay. by the constitution mm. uh, using uh, ai assisted uh, machine learning we have a software called suas and uh, that's work in progress so the idea of doing this is really to reach out to people uh mm. to enable people to understand in a language which they speak can you imagine a judgment on on labor or service or or motor accident is intended to provide justice to the citizen but if a citizen doesn't un- understand english good heavens what's the worth of that judgment to that citizen so we are therefore trying to translate these judgments in which we are doing already we've done that for hindi completely uh to allow for a comprehensive and comprehensible understanding of our work by by our own citizens so you realize that when you came in 2 years ago it was this nerdy liberal woke judge uh darling of the liberal masses and then comes the ayodhya judgment and then you become and you say that you prayed and then you become this conservative suddenly you become a villain for the liberals and you become the but, darling of the conservatives how did that happen but, and you know, did the, you realize you know, it the, happened <laughs> you know this uh, these uh, labels of liberal and conservative i don't accept them because you know these are these are political labels mm. and they postulate that a judge must be on one end of the political spectrum either as a liberal or a political because or a liberal or conservative and these are ideologies that's not how judges decide right mm. um you you look at my track record and i'm not going to speak about the track record you will find judges which are judgments which are interspersed yeah. interspersed which uh protect human rights and then you may have judgments which are uh, in a certain area of law say taxation mm. take a more conservative viewpoint and then you will have judgments thereafter which take what quote unquote may appear to be a more liberal perspective gst was yeah. also during your time right yeah gst was during my yeah. time the yeah. one of the last judgments which i delivered was in the aligarh muslim university case yeah. or the madrasa yeah. case which was two days before i retired so you cannot look at the life of a judge as being either on the liberal end of the spectrum or the conservative end of the spectrum where you are judges not chosen for political reasons hmm. we are unlike the say the american system hmm. where judges are not political appointees we are career judges yeah. we were drawn from the bar or people who come from the district judiciary we are is essentially career judges so you look at that particular case and decide that particular case and see where the balance of justice lies do you lies. revisit uh, personally when you when you go back home do you revisit a judgment say delivered a few years ago and say maybe at this time with the information i have now i might have well you know very often your own judgments are cited before you hmm. so i have judgments of mine which are of 2000 yeah. and uh, of 2000 and uh, 16 which are cited before me or were cited before me or 2018 and when a passage is cited obviously you know it's a thinking mind so i always ask myself could i have reframed this passage in this particular way hmm. to bring greater clarity to what i wanted to say hmm. that's a human process which goes on all the time but reverse a judgment uh, if i had to reverse a judgment of my own i wouldn't stop short of reversing a judgment which i okay. had delivered if i felt later say in review uh that well a judgment which i delivered required to be uh you know corrected 
I would have done it because, you know, that's the jurisdiction and review which you have. Or if I was sitting in a larger bench and I had to revisit my own judgment, well, I wouldn't you stop wouldn't short of, uh, okay. of doing it. That's, it. that's your duty as a judge to do that. So we were talking about political pressure and uh, when you were in the Allahabad High Court, you were really young. Um, was it easier for politician to pressurize a young judge at that stage? Oh, no, not at all. I, th I don't <laughs> think age has anything to do with it. Really? Okay. Absolutely, age has nothing to do with it. And that's what I said. Chota hai isko pressure dalo. Was nee, that hai? Chota hai nahi, saal ka tha main I was 53 okay. years old. Well, you compared know? to what is happening. <laughs> okay. So, uh, when I became Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court. And uh, again, that's where I've said, you know, on this whole issue of, you know, the, the um, you know, the engagement on, on mm. the social level between the when between the political arm of the state and 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 the and the judiciary, when my mother passed away in uh, in I was the chief justice of the Allahabad High Court. She passed away in Mumbai. When I got back to Allahabad, the chief minister and his wife took an appointment and came and just spent ten with her, ten minutes Who is with the, me. Uh, Mr. Akhilesh Shadav was the okay. chief minister. Okay. He dropped in. I was in Lucknow. I had gone to Lucknow from Mumbai. We have two, as you know, we have two seats. We the main seat is in Allahabad and a bench at Lucknow. I was sitting at Lucknow and there was a request that the chief minister and his wife would like to come and visit you. Huh. I said, certainly, they can come and visit you. So they spoke about uh, my parents from whatever the little they knew about my father and things like that. So these are just... But know, there was a social, time, that, was a, very, uh, that yeah. was a very difficult period uh, for the legislature and the judiciary at that time. It came up, a number of cases came up where they were, you know, hammer and tongs against each other during that period. Uh, in spite of that, these uh, social pleasantries happen. Well, of course, happen. well, of course, absolutely, and okay. and that I I do believe that speaks about the maturity of the system and mm. irrespective of who is uh, in because government. Because he was also very young uh, and, and uh, as a chief minister. Of, yes, yeah. irrespective of who is in uh, who is which political party is in power. Uh, that was one political party. When I was a senior judge of the Bombay High Court, there was another political party which was uh, ruling in the state. Mm. And these are uh, social niceties which are followed. And mm. that has nothing to do with the way you decide cases. Bec and that's the way it is maintained. Because, you know, the normal public, they say, oh, this is a Congress judge, this is a BJP judge, this is a right-wing judge, this is a left-wing judge. Hai. This is how people talk. Uh, is that really the case that happens? But that's okay. not the way it happens. It doesn't? It's well, you know, uh, I'll tell you one one thing. When we were lawyers, hmm. we knew that, well, if I went to a particular judge, for instance, this judge was a little more compassionate towards labor, hmm. right? I would know that, well, if I went to a particular judge in a particular court, that that particular judge was a little more compassionate towards the cause of tenants, Mm. or agricultural tenants. Mm. Now, that's part of the human process, mm. that someone has a, a, a degree of um, understanding for the more, the weaker element in, in, in society. That's very different. But in terms of political ideologies, absolutely incorrect. I mean, there's no question about it. Click here to watch the full episode.